Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again. And in this video, we're going to talk about that. How can you extract unique dates between the two dates? I wrote this problem on my blog a few days ago where you had the project name, you had the start date and you had the end date. And you had to find out how many unique days were there for each project. Now you can clearly see that project three has got overlapping dates. The first time it was 17th of Jan up to the 26th of Jan. The second time it was 16th of Jan up to the 3rd of the Feb. So there's a clear overlap between the two uh, times when somebody traveled. And I'd like to find out the unique dates only for every single project. Now I've got three solutions for it. The first one is using Excel. The second one is using Power Query. And the third one is using DAX formulas. Let's just take a look at the Excel solution first. So the first thing that I do is I extract all the dates from every single row. So you can take a look that there are eight dates here uh, from the 11th up to the 18th. I would like to extract all of them. The first date, comma, second date, comma, third date. And that I'm just going to do it using uh, row and the indirect function. So I just uh, use indirect uh, the first date and the second date uh, concatenate that with a colon and wrap that around the row function. What this is going to do is this is going to get me a range of all the numbers. So if I press the F9 key to evaluate that, you can take a look, it gives me the first number, uh, semicolon that which means the next row, the second number, the third number, then the fourth number, this comes automatically if I write that formula. Against every single number, I would like to attach the project name as well. Otherwise, I would not be able to find that if this date is unique to the project or not. So I use text join formula and let me just press escape and let me just evaluate the whole thing here. I use text join formula to join the name of the project along with the date that came through row and indirect. And since the last one doesn't have the project name, I attach uh, the project name in the end as well. So this gives me, this formula gives me the series of date extracted in a single cell. Now, once I extract dates from every single row, then I combine all of these rows using a text join formula, once again, separated by a comma. Now, up till here, this is all formulas, this is all fine. After here, a sort of manual work starts. So you can have a VBA to extract unique dates out of here, or you can just do some kind of uh, manual work, patchy work to kind of figure out a solution. So what do I do? I make a copy of this formula and I do a paste special, paste special as values. And then I uh, do a text to columns and I delimit it that with, uh, let's say, uh, a comma and I click on next and I click on OK. Now, every single date along with the name of the project is there in a single cell. All that you have to do is select all of this, copy this and make uh, a transpose paste of that. So I'm going to say that, hey, why don't you paste this in a vertical fashion, transpose and click on OK. Now, all the projects are right here. You can see that. Now, from, from this, I'm just going to say remove duplicates. So from the data tab, I'm just going to come here and say remove duplicates. So I'll have the unique project and the dates. Once I have that, then I'm going to again extract the number, which is my date and the name of the project. So I'll have a delimiter of five characters here and the project name. Once I do that, I have the date separated and I have the project separated. And using a count if formula, I can then find that for project one, how many number of times it's, is it appearing? Project two, how many number of times is it appearing? And that is going to give me my answer. So starting here, starting this place, this is all kind of rough patchy manual work. Let's just take a look at how can we solve this using Power Query. So obviously I will have to load the data in Power Query. This is already my Power Query solution. I'm just going to take you to my Power Query screen. So click on edit. This is already built as a query. Let's just take a look at the first step, the source step. This is where I have loaded the data. You can take a look that I have the project name, the start date and the end date. Then the change uh, type automatically gets inserted then is when I add a column. Let's just take a look at what formula have I used to add this custom column. So over here, uh, I have said that um, number dot from number dot from is an M function that is going to create a list of numbers. So I say, why don't you start the number from the start date, which is this date and end the number at the end date. So number dot from um, and the start date do dots number dot from and the end date don't forget to have the curly brackets around that and if you do that what this is going to do is this is going to create a list of numbers for every single row let's just take a look at what output do we get 
um, let me just pick up this row, row number five, where I have project number two. Now you can see that 25 up till 28th of Feb. That means we have four days, 25, 26, 27, and 28. If I just click against the list here, you can see that I'll have four numbers. That means all the four numbers are now stored in that list. All that I have to do is expand that, and this is going to give me the entire list of numbers. Now, um, the change type step is just to change the type of the number to a date. Now, what do I do after that? Now, I just can't remove duplicates like that. I have to first combine this with the name of the project. So I insert a merged column where I merge the name of the project along with the date. Uh, and then I remove duplicates from the merged column. And then I group the rows by the name of the project. So all that I have done is why don't you group it by the name of the project and count the number of days that are there under every one of them, every single group. So this is what I've done. Group by, name the project, uh, the name of this column is unique days, and I'm just counting the number of rows. That is about it. And if I click on close and load, this is a pretty neat and clean solution to the problem. All right, the last solution is the DAX Power Pivot solution. Let's just take a look at that. So I've already loaded the data in my Power Pivot and I've made a pivot table out of that. Uh, and I have written a measure called Uni Travel Days. Let's just take a look at the measure. So right click edit and here's the DAX code. Let me just zoom in. All right, so uh, in the, the DAX code, the inside most function, I have used the generate function. Now what the generate function does is it creates a table and it accepts two inputs. So table one is the first input. Table one is the table one that we had as a data. You've already taken a look at that. And table number two is coming from the filter function. When I create table number two, I have used a calendar auto function to create a calendar table. But the calendar table is filtered by two things. So I'm saying that in your calendar table, please check that if the date of the calendar should be greater than equal to the table start date which is my uh, data start date and the date of the calendar should also be less than equal to my data's end date and then you create the calendar table and then why don't you uh, use the generate function to combine these two tables in the context of table one and since obviously when you combine the table it will have duplicated values so i use the distinct function to remove the duplicates and once the duplicates are removed I use the count rows function to count the number of rows in that table. And that gives me my unique travel dates as an answer. Now this is a dynamic solution. This also gives you the total unique days. That means across all the four projects, how many unique days were there, which is not given by Power Query by default or by Excel by default. All right, those were the three solutions to the problem that I gave. My personal favorite is the DAX solution. Do let me know in the comments, which one do you like the most? And in case you were to solve the problem, how would you tackle this problem using Excel, Power Query or Power Pivot? Thanks so much for watching this. You take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.